Hey there guys, Justin from Temco here. And while I normally shoot these videos at work, today I'm at home and I'm uh, going to go ahead and show you. I had a bit of a uh, an issue that cropped up here that allows me to show you off one of our products and so I figured I'd go ahead and just give you the demo uh, here at home. So what happened is it's about mm, 104 degrees out here today and uh, my air conditioner has completely cut off. Uh, it stopped running, the compressor won't run, and it's blowing hot air in my house. It's probably about 86 degrees in there. It's not very comfortable. Um, so I took out my multimeter, and normally this is, this is a repair job. A lot of people will call you know, an air conditioning repair place or something like that, and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars to go ahead and fix this. But uh, with just a multimeter and a little bit of troubleshooting, you can often figure these little problems out yourself. Alrighty guys, so here we have the inside. This is the, uh, the controls on the inside of my air conditioner. Components we have a uh, two-pole contactor. Looks like we have two capacitors back here. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's not much else in here. When I first came out to troubleshoot this, what I could see is that this contactor would pull in all the way, but absolutely nothing would happen out here. The fan wouldn't come on, the compressor wouldn't come on. So to diagnose this a little further, basically I'm going to need to take my multimeter out and probe around a little bit. And I think the uh, the first step we need to do is make sure that we actually have power at the unit. There's our fuse box right here. And so what I can do is go ahead and pull the fuse out, like that. And you can see there, just two standard bus type fuses. Uh, check this, I'm going to put my multimeter on continuity. It's going to beep there. And then just test each fuse to make sure that they aren't blown out. This is a really common problem on these when your air conditioner won't start. Sometimes they blow these fuses. So, those look like they're both completely good. So, next step is going to be to see if we have voltage in the box here. Yep, 241 volts looks like. So, we do have power at the panel and the fuses are good. So, the problem is inside the air conditioner. Here are the two capacitors that I pulled out of the unit. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. Um, the this one here you can see it's a little worn off there but it says 45 microfarads 440 volts AC um, and then this one this one here is kind of an interesting one it has two ratings on it, it says 40 microfarad 5 microfarad 440 volts AC and you can see it has three terminals on the top of it it's upside down there let me flip that around you can see the labeled fan C for common and HERM, H-E-R-M. Not sure about that one, but that one would have uh, been connected to the compressor motor. In this case, the only things that were hooked to this capacitor was fan and common. Now, when I went ahead and tested these out, I found that between fan and common, I got 5.2 microfarads, which is good for the rating of 5 there. But between common and the compressor terminal, uh, I was only getting 21 microfarads. Now the rating on that is, of course, 40, and so at half its rating, this was this was probably or unable to start the uh, the compressor by itself. Um, let me talk to you a little bit about what this is here. This is essentially just two capacitors inside one case. This is done uh, really commonly on air conditioner units, um, but if this goes bad on you and you're unable to source a three-pole contactor or a three-pole capacitor like this, you can just order two separate capacitors that match these ratings. You could order a 40 microfarad and a 5 microfarad, tie a terminal together on each for the common, and then run your fan and your compressor off of that. Now, the one that was wired into the compressor uh, to replace the failed part of the other capacitor there, it's supposed to be 45 microfarads. When I test this one out, I get 14. Um, these fail, they break down internally over time, and so what happens is they just lose their ability to start start the motors off there. So, I needed a replacement, and thankfully Temco carries a full line of motor run and start capacitors, and so I was able to go and get this guy. That's 45 microfarads, but there seems to be a problem with this. Let me, I mean, this is way too small, right? Let's, let's go ahead and compare these guys. This is, this can't be the right part. There really isn't a whole lot of difference between these two capacitors. Um, the differences you've got between them are package type, so you've got oval versus round, and you've got a voltage difference in this case. This one's 440 volts, this one's 370 volts. 
Now, when you're choosing a replacement capacitor for your application, uh, the two things you really need to worry about is the capacitance rating and the voltage. Now, since this is a 240 volt system, both of these capacitors are over the voltage that's required. So, um, even one rated at 240 would probably be okay for this, but it's always better to shoot a little higher so that you have that buffer room. Um, these two are completely compatible. The, the package style oval versus round really is often just a mounting consideration. They'll use you know a round strap or a square strap to hold them down and it just depends on the manufacturer but they are completely interchangeable. Now when we go ahead and put this back together the only other thing to note here a lot of times people know that capacitors can be polarity specific on AC capa motor run capacitors like this uh, it doesn't matter. You can put these in in either direction uh, and they'll function the same. So let me go ahead and button this back up and we'll see what happens. You can see I put the uh, capacitors back in there. Let me go ahead and restore power to the unit. My thermostat's kicked on, and uh, looks like we've got cooling again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut it off and put all the panels back on here, and uh, go in the house and enjoy some nice cold air. But uh, if you have any questions or you need capacitors as well, here I, you know, go ahead and uh, our website's in the uh, description in the video below. It's uh, TemcoIndustrialPower.com. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll have the uh, phone number for you down there as well. All right, guys, take it easy and stay cool.